Whiskey 7, Alpha, Charlie, Sierra, W7, ACS, Field Day. CQ Field Day, CQ Field Day, this is Whiskey 7, Alpha, Charlie, Sierra, W7, ACS, Field Day. Okay, Bob, what's happening? Hey, Dave. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I am the station captain for this phone station that we have here. And uh, visiting today are friends of mine, Pam, uh, her daughter, Evelyn, who I am uh, teaching to pass her technician license, and Rini, who's probably a couple years away from getting her technician license. <laughs> and so uh, we're... Uh, we're just making our contacts for field day. Uh, we're on 20 meters right now, and things are going well. Any excitement yet today? Uh, oh yeah, we've had excitement. We uh, oh, as far as contacts, <laughs> the weather has been the big excitement <laughs> between the rain and the wind. Uh, I thought this thing was going to blow over once or twice, but it's held up. Um, no, the contacts, uh, nothing special that I'm aware of. Uh, just a, it's been a, an open band. We've had a lot of contacts. And it's been going well, but uh, nothing special that I know of. Well, maybe you could tell us a little bit about that rain and wind. How does that affect your operation? Uh, well, fortunately, it, it has not affected our operation because the shelter has held, but uh, we've got everything tied down here real well, staked down. And uh, even with that, uh, the wind blew hard enough that uh, at, while it was raining hard that I was uh, just sure that it was going to blow right over and we were going to have to cover everything quick and shut down. But uh, we managed to stay, stay in business. Emergency operation? <laughs> training? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Every time we come here we learn a little something. And uh, this the, the focus of, uh, of this year has been to uh, minimize interference and we've done that beautifully by uh, separating the stations, aligning them in a way that would minimize interfer interference and uh, using equipment that will help minimize the interference. Why do you do this? Oh, well, it's fun. <laughs> uh, it's, it's something that we do to, uh, uh, to show that we can operate off the grid. Uh, we can uh, uh, demonstrate our ability to, to uh, be out here operating even if uh, power goes down, even if there's uh, even if there disruptions uh, of all different kinds, we can still get out and operate. Uh, it's also a contest. It's a nationwide contest, and uh, so of course we're going after points. We're trying to do as well as we can in the contest, and uh, here's a good reason here for Evelyn and other other folks like her to uh, be a way for them to try out things that they haven't done before and get a chance to get on the air and. and uh, it's an outreach to, to get people interested in ham radio and give them a chance to try it. What, what so, got us? Uh, this is the antenna. We've got the tower here uh, going on up to uh, a four element beam. You see the four crosswise pieces, that's the four elements. It's a tri-bander. It will operate on three bands and the wide spots in there are called traps and they they will allow you to uh, operate on any of the three bands uh, if it were just a single piece it would be uh, resonant on a single band only but this allows it to be resonant on three different bands how high oh it is uh, 41 feet the uh, tower is 41 feet so i'd put it about 42 feet in the air and uh, we need that in order to uh, uh, reduce the ground effects and give us a nice horizontal signal coming out otherwise it would tend the energy would tend to uh, go right up in the sky which is good for uh, the what they call near vertical incident sky wave so you, you have a sky wave that goes very high in the air and and comes back down uh, within a, like a 500 mile radius uh, scatter mainly this instead is going to be a nearly horizontal wave uh, going up 15 degrees, 10 degrees, uh, 20 degrees, something like that, and uh, and refracting back down uh, a thousand miles away, 2,000 miles away, uh, or more. Uh, with this, you can get around the world easily. Uh, and for this contest, we're uh, operating in the U.S. primarily. What what's been your range today? Uh, well, we've had no problem hitting the East Coast. Uh, I don't know if we still are now, but uh, we've had no problem hitting the east coast of the U.S. And all the way, the nearest I've heard, uh, well, we've actually heard uh, Western Washington as well. So nearest is maybe, uh, you know, just 
uh, just uh, less than 100 miles away. And uh, you know that the uh, the hundred miles away is going to be pretty much direct. The longer ones are going to be uh, from this bounce or the refraction of the wave to bring it back down to Earth after uh, after uh, interacting with the ionosphere. CQ Field Day, CQ Field Day. This is Whiskey Seven Alpha Charlie Sierra W Seven ACS Field Day.